Hey guys, uh, welcome to Retro Quest number three. So I'm doing something a bit different. Um, instead of a weekly pickups from now on, I'm going to be doing bi-weekly, or you know, whenever I can, uh, Retro Quest episodes. So it'll probably be every two weeks, might be every three. If point is, I'm going to be uploading stuff every week, and if you're lucky enough, you'll get to see one of these. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm going to sh I, I'm going to show you about four minutes of footage. I didn't get that great footage this week. And then I'm going to go through all my pickups, and there are a lot more than what you're going to see in the actual footage. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. So here I'm on my way to the, um, the flea market, just walking towards it. And um, it's, an, it's an indoor flea market, and uh, it's, it's pretty dusty. It's not like one of those new ones with all the booths. You know, everybody has their little things. And there, there are only, I think, two video game only... Uh, distrib uh, sellers, and even them, you know, they, they kind of sell the furniture and everything. So yeah, I gotta get, I got on my zoom here. Um, here, as you see, there's some, this guy has a lot of nice stuff. Uh, there's Kid Icarus. I actually ended up picking that game up. Uh, I was in last week's pickups. There's some other really cool games. I always I end up finding some pretty cool stuff from this guy. And he has pretty good faces. There's an NES Max controller that I picked up actually. The one that wasn't broken. I picked I ended up picking that Silver Surfer up. And here a lot of NES games. Most of them were uh, they weren't that great, you know. It was kind of his uh regular self. One thing that I tend to do when I go to uh to flea markets is if I find a game that I find either find overpriced or something that I want is it's generally good to mix it with a few other uh you know not as valuable games and it you know just doesn't usually shine through and you can generally get him to go on an average price and then you know work your way down from there on that one specific game that you want now this guy here he he normally has a few rare things but i had the few th that he had he has a few and a boxed n64 games and uh, those are he overpriced by a lot he tends he, he thought they were really valuable these things too, and that yellow one there is actually Puck Monster, which is I think Pac-Man in uh, Japan. And sorry about the uh, the bad lighting, but you know they really didn't have that many lights at this place, and uh, once again they didn't have much here, but uh, they did have a, a ripped copy right there of uh, Gomont Adventure, which got me excited until I realized it was ripped. And here, as you, uh, they they had like uh, you think like twenty Mario Duck hunts. You know they really, like this is where I picked up a few of my less valuable games, but they're you know good prices, a dollar fifty a game. So it's not a surprise that I couldn't find any gems here. Um, although I I did see some pretty cool titles that I already either had or just didn't feel like getting. Also, this guy was actually selling off all of his stuff. That's why it's normally three dollars game, but uh, everything was fifty cents off. I'm uh, sorry, fifty percent off. And so it's probably another reason that he didn't really have much. Over the summer, I went and went through all his boxes, and really did find quite a lot of stuff. This Star Trek, I ended up picking that up as you, as you'll see in the pickups. Uh, a bunch of N64 games. I don't, I don't think I actually found anything too interesting. Uh, this Crash to Dummies. Yeah. He had a lot of uh, boxes lying around everywhere. I found a few Game Boys in a few of them last uh, over the summer, and the tons of consoles everywhere. That's what I'm trying to show here. Just boxes, just full of wires. It was pretty cool, uh, just to kind of go through everything. That's where I found my Mario Paint uh, mouse. Uh, yeah. So see you at the pickups. All right. So now to what I actually got uh, I got some pretty cool stuff this week I got a ton of stuff um, first off something that I've been looking for for a while a power pad um, I, I actually I think I only have one game to for use with it but you know it's still it's still really cool um, I think it cost me five dollars yeah it cost me five dollars and I also got with it 
an NES Advantage, which is another controller that I didn't have yet. Um, so right now I think I have all of the controllers that I've been looking for, because I actually you're about to see that I got another one. Uh, yeah, so this is probably my favorite thing that I picked up this week. Uh, the very sought after NES Top Loader. So um, I tested this out yesterday. It works great. I, I absolutely love it. It came with all the wires and everything, so now I have a three or so set. And it came with a dog welcome controller, which is actually my favorite. Um, just the way it's spaced out. Because I'm not a big fan of the original controller, but I love that one. So now on to the games. First up, it's a double, but it's a really fun game. and it, Well, it's not a double anymore, actually, because I traded it off. Um, it was five bucks. SWAT Cats. So SWAT Cats is a really interesting game. Um, it Basically, the story is, is about you know two cats who are kind of like TMNT, and you go around fighting stuff, and it's a really crazy game. I definitely recommend it to everybody who's interested in these type of games. Uh, this next thing, uh, all of these games that I'm about to show you, I paid a, a dollar fifty for. Um, the next thing, I wasn't sure if it w what it was worth or anything. I just found it pretty interesting. It's a Dreamcast web browser. I don't even have a Dreamcast, but I found that cool. Next is uh, got to be cleaned up. Um, NFL Blitz. I have the box and manual for it, so now I have it complete. Then I've got uh, Forsaken sixty four. Which uh, I I don't know that much about, but it looked it looked cool and it was dollar fifty, so I just added it to the pile. Then we've got Star Trek, and uh, another game I've been looking for for quite a while. That is, I, I played it it's a ton of fun. I definitely think everybody should check it out. Pilot Wings sixty four. So there are actually a, a lot of things that I prefer about Pilot Wings on the Super Nintendo. Mainly because it's more, you know, fl flying a plane and it's more technical. But there are a lot of cool things about Pilot Wing 64. You know, the way they have the uh, the backgrounds and the foregrounds and all that. And it's just uh, really cool music and great characters. Now this, now this is something that I've uh, st I strangely turned down the first time I saw it. I'm not really sure why. It's a Mario Paint Mouse. Um, at the moment, I think I only have one game that can that I can use it on, which is Mario Paint. Uh, yeah, happy to have that. Then we've got a game that I just found pretty interesting, the Justice League Task Force. And it has a bunch of superheroes in the front. I'm re you know I'm excited to check it out. Do that tomorrow. Uh, another game that I've uh, I've heard a lot of great reviews on. You know I've heard it's a lot of fun made by Ultra. Jivus. So what I really like about Gyrus is that um, although it's similar to other uh, games of the same genre, like genre, like uh, you know Space Invaders and all that, it has a very different perspective, which gives it a different feeling. You know the way you can go diagonally and all that, and uh, yeah, it's just a really fun to play game. I found this game pretty interesting. Uh, it is by LGN. But, you know, Crash Death Dummies. Actually, it's just, the, yeah, the incredible Crash Dummies. Looking forward to seeing what you can do in that game. And then the last game that I got from that that place is uh, it's by Ubisoft. It's F1 Pole Position 64. All right, um, so... These next ones, uh, it was there. There are eleven games, and I paid uh, twenty dollars for them. Same place that I got the Power Pad and the NES Advantage. First up is Life Force. Uh, when I first saw it, I, I actually mistook it for Contra Force, uh, which got me excited, but it wasn't Contra Force. Uh, then a double, uh, Super Mario Bros. Three. And another double, but a game that I, I absolutely love, and I think a lot of other people would agree it is one of the best games on the console, but yeah. Mega Man 2. So this is Mega Man 2, and really, who doesn't love Mega Man 2? It's, um, it's probably 
the most uh, popular game in the entire series. Definitely, I think, the most sold and most common of them all. Um, anyways, uh, you should definitely give it a try if you haven't tried it yet. And if you have, then you should probably try it again because it's so much fun and there's always new things to try. Now, this is a game that I finally picked up. Um, I should have picked it up a while ago. Um, it's Double Dragon. Uh, I had Double Dragon number two. I just never, never found number one. Uh, here's another game that I've been looking for for quite some time, but it just always just escaped me, and I've been looking forward to playing it for so long. Battle Toads. Um, I don't, I don't know. I've seen, I've heard so many great reviews of, about it, and it just looks like so much fun. I can't wait to play it later. So Battle Toads is a game that I've been looking for for an extremely long time. Uh, I was extremely happy to finally, you know, get, get my hands on it, and uh, I'll get to play it later. And uh, I'll probably do a review on it because I, I expect that I'll absolutely love it. Alright, so the next one I just kind of got because I didn't have it. And, um, you know, and it, let me know if it's any good. I, I, I'll probably try it out later or tomorrow. It's Super Spike V-Ball. Then we've got the famous uh, Paperboy. I'm looking forward to playing that. I haven't played that since I had it on the original Game Boy. 10 years ago. Uh, this game I have complete in the box already. My box is in pretty bad shape, so I'm just gonna try to get a better condition. It's my least favorite of the franchise, series, whatever. Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, I, I completed it, I just didn't enjoy it that much. Um, then we've got another LGN game that I've been looking for A, Night A Nightmare on Elm Street. And finally, Another game that I've been looking for is uh, it's Super C. So, so the last game here is uh, Super C, which is uh, also known as Contra 2. Uh, it's extremely similar to Contra uh, overall. I think I just enjoyed the original Contra more, although I did. I think I did find it harder. Um, I do like the fa the face down or head down uh, perspective. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's like Contra, it's an amazing shooting game. Alright, so, um, I hope you enjoyed my uh, third edition of Retro Quest. Um, tell me what you think of the way I do the pickups and the, uh, the footage in the same video. If you think it's too long, let me know, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe, like my video, favorite it, comment, all that great stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.